Welcome back to a new geometry node setup. Today I will show you how you can easily create something like this. So here we are in Blender now and you can see I already played with the geometry node setup. But now I will show you how you can create something like this by yourself. So let's go. And yeah, um, I will leave all the scene stuff in the Blender file so you can check it out by yourself. But now I will disable the whole scene. And oh, so let's create a cube which uh, is the size and the shape of our city and first of all we have to go into edit mode select all the faces by pressing a and now we have to scale this one really really up so something like this let me see yeah i think Something like this is good. And yeah, now we can um, make some, some changes with our cube. So, so let's select the top one and yeah, select the top face and make an inset face and extrude this one by pressing E make this one here again and pressing E again and well now we have a little little pyramid here we can make a look at here and here and let's make a look at on here and here okay and select our face here and extrude them this one by pressing E again make a look cut here and select this one here and extrude this one here down okay and now we can easily add our geometry node setup here select this trailer city and now you can see we have a cool shape or a cool uh, container shape um, container trailer city shape and yeah that's that's the geometry node um, set up here I will show you really quick the settings if you have some some trailers which will intersect um, something like this you can um, yeah, adjust the, the, the size here or the position a little bit and put this one here out if you want to um, the water tank position is here you can see we have some water tanks on the roof and if you want to put them a little bit more down or you can adjust the, the height. Now we have the density of the trailers, which is yeah, the density of the trailers. So let's put this one to uh, 0 0.002. So we have more, more of the trailers. Here you can adjust the size of some wires if you want to have some wires in your scene. Um, so let's go five or maybe with ten. So yeah, we have some some wires here. I added some some lights into um, this setup, but you have to use it really carefully because Evie can only uh, render 128 lights if I'm right 
I think uh, it was something like this. Um, maybe let's test it out. So let me save this. Let me disable the scene lights and let's go into render mode. And now when you're using the lights, please put something like point zero zero one or something like this. And now you can see we have some some tiny lights in the scene and but for me it's a cool effect but it will be really laggy so um, I leave the option if you want to use some lights but yeah you have you have to use this really carefully um, yeah let's put this one back to zero and let's uh, enable the scene lights here and yeah here's the density uh, neon sign so this you can increase this number two um, and play with the neon sign seat um, yeah that's <laughs> that's the the whole setup here and now I will show you where you can uh, find the assets um, yeah that's in the the uh, note stuff and here you can find um, let me disable let me disable oh we have to go out edit mode and Let's put the cube out of the node stuff and now I will disable this one here. You can find the wires and the structure which is here the, the outside or the edge and um, the edge construct stuff and you can easily disable this one here or the wires too. So um, it's up to you. And here are the containers or the trailers. And yeah, that's uh, one of this one. And here you can see um, I use uh, I use I use instances. And if you want to change something on this instance, you have to go to object apply make instance real and now you can now you have access to all all the instance stuff which is inside but for now i will leave this in some instances and yeah here are some <laughs> floor floor stuff uh, but feel free to change it it's up to you here is another one another one and a container here are the water tanks water tank one and water tank two and the neon signs which you can change as well so and yeah here are the lights which are in the in the in the node setup where you can change the intensity or the the color so really easy to handle and yeah okay that's that was the geometry node setup um, for some scene stuff we can uh, duplicate this one here put this one here over maybe put this one here on the side a little bit down So, and now you have a cool, cool, cool futuristic scene. <laughs> that was the Trailer City Geometry Note setup. Um, I hope you find this one useful and you have a lot, a lot of fun with it. So, um, yeah, feel free to write me a comment and tell me what you think about something like this. I will really appreciate if you follow me, if you give me a thumbs up and I will see you next time. Bye bye.